Broadcasting from the business capital of the world, this is the Podcast Business News Network. And welcome back to the show. We're excited to have here live on the Zoomcast as well as the podcast, uh, Julie Duran. She's from Fine Line Aesthetics. She's the owner and, of course, lead master injector. If you're in the area, she's in Atlanta, Georgia. And her website, I'll have you please uh, remind everyone how we can reach you. Oh, absolutely. So it's Fine Line Aesthetics, Julie.com. Beautiful. Excited to have you here and to talk about all the work you do. Uh, welcome and please introduce yourself to everyone before we begin. Yeah, good morning. Good morning. It's uh, Julie Duran, Fine Line Aesthetics, Atlanta, Georgia. My office is in Decatur. Uh, it Man, it is chilly this morning. I, I can't get over How, this. What, what is it like? What is it like? It's chilly down here. It's so crazy, crazy. The leaves are falling like insanity down here but it's beautiful and it's a great day to get some aesthetics done um contact if you guys want to make appointments just real quick i'm going to throw it out there 770-883-0114 great well thank you so much for being here i think it's a pleasure to have you and on social media you're active as well oh yes ma'am facebook <laughs> Instagram. who's not is anybody i you know i feel like you need to have a good social platform um uh, you know I, i'm in my lower 40s and i even have a tiktok so don't laugh but yes we have facebook instagram tiktok um you know you can find us in all different venues Perfect. Well, we're excited to have you here today. And there's so much to the work you do. Where did you want to start? I mean, we could talk about injections, neurotoxins. I'll let you lead the way, girl. Go for it. Any of it. I know. I was thinking, where where should we start today? This, you know, before we we got on. And there is so many different areas to talk about. And I know last time we talked about fillers and yeah. things of that sort. You know, today I was actually thinking about talking about hydrofacials and skincare uh, products. But the more I think about it, even we need to get back on lips. Lips are so important. I need. I can use some lip filler. I, after my surgery, though, I can't move my. I can't smile still because it's kind of stuck. So I look weird. I feel like a yeah. muppet. But you know what? Why not? Years ago, I tried. I had. I don't even remember what it was. They put it in my lips. I was in my twenties. But I look like a duck. It was overdone, and I said I'll never do this again. But. Now you see like just a subtle change in a lip can make such a difference. And I'm sure it's all about being subtle nowadays. And that's, that's kind of more of the look, not like the Lisa Rinna look. Is that her name? Yeah. Yes. 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 I get that, that name brought up about daily in my office. Mm -hmm. You know, when, when people do come in, of course, they're going to get a full consultation. Consultations are free. I recommend everybody come in. I think that's an extremely important part of the process. You can't just come in knowing what you want because honestly, it may not be what you need. So we need to do a good assessment of your face, your Absolutely. skin, Absolutely. your genetic makeup, mm -hmm. your ethnicity. All of that plays into a part of really making what we need to uh, making what we need to get to achieve the goal of what you want versus what I believe you need. So we need to come together and, and really talk and, and come up with that plan of care so that you are super happy when you walk out that door. You understand yeah. what I did. You yeah. understand why I did it. Yeah. yeah. And you're happy. We're all happy. But yeah, lips are, are crazy. I, I keep coming back to lips. It's the number one filler that I do. If you look at my Instagram, there's tons of hashtag fine line luscious lips, and you can look at all of them and everyone's different. So I tell my clients before they come in, I want you to review my Instagram. I want you to look through and see what lip you like. Ah, now, that I love being it. Said, mm -hmm. yeah, absolutely. You've got to pick out a lip you do like. It gives me an idea where to start. Now, you come in and I look at your lips. If I'm looking at your lips and, and Jill, you tell me, I want big, old, beautiful, luscious lips. I want them huge. Well, A, we need to talk about your surgery you just had. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Not a good time for you. Mm -hmm. You know, the, it, it could be the timing could be off. It could be that your lips are so thin. I can't achieve the goal of the picture that you're requesting. You know, realistically, result wise, I want to be able to give you what you want, but you've also got to know you, you may not be a good candidate. Got it. And you're going to be open and honest and thorough for this whole consultation, which is important because not everybody is. And I've heard horror stories about people going in and getting things that they want and 
no yeah. one should have ever done that. Uh, but so I love that you you have to have full transparency and full honesty up front. It makes for the best consultation and um, to, you know, not get someone's you know, to get them disappointed or their hopes up for something that's not even possible. So I like that yeah. approach. That's the open and honest approach. That's the way it should be. <laughs> yeah, and- well, I do agree with that. I do agree with that. And I do a lot of education. So I may go a little overboard to letting them know what to expect, what not to expect. I think that's important. Yeah. Um, you know, in pain, that's a question. Oh my God. I had a friend that got her lips done. She left. She was crying. She's this, she's that. You hear these horror stories um, done correctly, numbed correctly with whatever method we decide to do that. It is not a procedure that is not doable for everybody. I don't care if you're afraid of needles. I don't care if you don't like blood. If you're just in general, your anxiety levels up to here and you, you're, you know, you know, you're going to pass out. You're going to be that person that is going to hit the floor. You need to tell me we can work together. You should not be in pain getting your lips done. That's absolutely a misnomer. I hear it all the time. Um, We have different facets to keep you nice and comfortable, you know, not only with numbing cream or possibly a double block, but I have what I call squishy. It's a big stuffed animal. You You see it on my TikToks. Yes, it's a huge stuffed animal. They grab it and universally, I don't care how big the man is or if he's getting filler, he gets squishy and he just lays there. Super fun. Um, You know, it kind of breaks the ice on they feel kind of stupid holding a, a big stuffed animal. And, and then it all of a sudden ice. they're like, ah, we love you. <laughs> yes. Yes, absolutely. You kind of get that, that feeling of, I guess, embarrassment at first, because you're holding that stuffed animal, but also it gets you over the anxiety. You start laughing. You forget about what you're really, you know, what's coming up against you. Mm-hmm. You instantly, your shoulders relax. You can breathe. And I mean, these little things help little vibration tools that we can put yeah. that vibrate on your jawline, your clavicle, you can just hang on to it. Um, squishy toys, all these secondary modalities really help to make the experience better. Music, whatever works for you. I take the time and the, the, the support staff to help you get comfortable. Okay. And, but just not, not, but no offense, you're still going to feel a little something. You're going to feel a pinch. Yep. There, right? I, I don't want to, I I've done it before years ago. I remember, but I've also had Botox yeah. done and I know what that feels like. You're going to feel a little something, even though they numb, it's not totally pain-free I, I, unless you're really that good, but I, I don't know. Right. You know, I haven't had it done in so long. I don't, I don't know how many injections yep. do you make? Just curious. And, and yep. what are you, what are you putting in? What are the hottest and latest lip fillers and why do you use the yep. ones you use? Do you mind sharing? No, I don't at all. These are all great questions that I get asked all the time. Okay. Um, yes, you are going to feel pinpricks. Yes, you will feel a little pain, a little pressure, a little pop, a little burn, um, because the fillers nowadays do have lidocaine in the syringe as well. So once yeah. we numb the mouth, we'll put a cream on the mouth, let it sit for 20 minutes, wash that off, and then yeah. the actual fillers have lidocaine mm-hmm. as well. Yeah. So are you going to sleep through it? No. No. Are you going to okay. cry through it? Yeah, no, no, <laughs> no. So you're right. A little bit of pain. Um, pain is beauty, right? Exactly. No pain, no gain. My grandma <laughs> used to say, "Yeah, you gotta have a little pain, but you gotta have some fun to it." It is, yeah. you know, it's an elective procedure. These are electively done, so we do have to have some fun with it. You know, we're we're excited to get this done. Um, as to fillers, there's so many options out there. You've got different brands of fillers. We went over this. Other- small bit last time. Mm -hmm. Um, You have your Restylane brand, your Juvederm family, your Revenace Versa, you have your RHAs of the world. And there's always more, more filler products coming out. I know uh, Restylane has an, or excuse me, Revenace Versa has another one coming. Uh, Restylane just brought out contour for the cheeks. Um, There's so many different ones. What you want to make sure is that your injector, or if you come to me, we're using the right filler for you, okay? So if I have a 70-year-old lady come into my office and say, I just have all these lip lines, they're everywhere. I just want them smoothed out. I don't want big lips. Okay. There is a filler for that. Really? Yes. So that's also something that people really don't understand. They think filler in the lips is just for us 
20, 30, 40 year olds that just want bigger lips and you know, that Instagram shot of the, the kissy face. Yes. Yeah. Right. No, absolutely not. It can be very aesthetically pleasing. So anti-aging wise, you don't have the lines on your lips. So if you ever noticed before and after pictures of any type of lip filler done, you're going to see lines and then the after picture looks nice and smooth, right? Mm-hmm. One, because of swelling. Lips okay. swell. That's typical. Mm-hmm. But hyaluronic acid fillers are, they bring and attract water molecules. So okay. that's why a good soft filler uh, can be great for somebody in a different age that just wants that hydration look. Okay. Yeah. Wow. And how long does it last? And what is the upkeep? I mean, I'm sure it's different for every, since they're different fills, but approximately when are, right. what is the upkeep process like? Yeah. Upkeep for lips, you know, you can get some, some clients will come and say, I just want a half syringe. Mm-hmm. I want a full syringe. That's kind of something we can talk about as well. I do typically recommend doing the full syringe. Um, I do have clients that do the half and that's fine, but I usually have them come back and say, I want the rest. You're right. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you know, I've been there. I've done this. I, I I get what people need. I can tell you right off the bat, you're going to be very disappointed with just a half for you, yeah. depending on the client. Mm-hmm. Now, you can get your lips refilled in a month if you want them a little bigger. Okay. So depending on the desired result depends on what and how much and how often we need to do it. Mm-hmm. So in general, if you are, a, you know, you have a budget, you just want a little hydration this year. You can, they're good for about a year. So you don't have to do anything at that point. By six months, eight months post injections, you know, your body metabolizes down these fillers. You're going to probably notice that they're not as full and that's normal. We just add another one. So just add another syringe, make an appointment, come on in. We can get everything rejuvenated again. And also, so does the filler dissipate does it get absorbed into the body or what happens to fill it or is it always there once you put it in and it just goes away a little bit like and and i've heard of something and someone is also unhappy with the look they get you can also break that up with another syringe of something right so it's not like permanent you could change it if you change your mind (laughs) absolutely absolutely good 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 question um you can break it down if you do not like it but the first thing somebody will say when they come in when they say i want lips is I don't want to look ducky. Yeah. I see people that look ducky. You know, for for the the listeners out there, what is ducky, right? People mm-hmm. are like, what does that mean? Like, does that mean your whole lips are just swollen and they're huge? And you no, know, ducky is typically that profile look. So if mm-hmm. you look to the side, the top lip flips up so far. Exactly, it looks like it has a shadow, like a I mustache. Can... Yeah, yeah, you're right. You know? I I can't move my lip still right now, so I'm a little I'm playing with it because I'm. <laughs> For those of you on the podcast, on the regular podcast, like, what is she talking about? But yeah, I'm physically trying to lift up my lip to see. So like that, it's like at that look. Okay. Absolutely. All right. But Mm -hmm. I could use a little here. Be honest, right? I could (laughs) use a little more upper lip look. You could use an upper lip. I'm not going to lie. Thank you. I appreciate it. But you know, and and then a little bottom too to match. Yeah. Oh, well, I always do a bottom to match. That's another thing. (laughs) People think my top lip's very thin, but my lower's real full. I don't need to do that. Some injectors won't won't inject both top, top and bottom. I always inject top and bottom. Mm-hmm. I like to balance it. There's got to be an art form to it. So it's got to be balanced on your face. Got it. Um, yep. But um, yeah, so going back to the duck lip, because that's something <laughs> that's, nobody yeah. wants. Nobody wants that as number one question, concern, right off the bat. We get it out of the room, you know, just get the elephant out of the room. You're not going to get a duck lip. Okay. Right. Mm -hmm. If that happens, it's called migration. Okay. Okay. Migration is where the filler goes into tissues we did not put it. So if I'm doing a lip filler, their filler will go to the least resistance of the tissue. So it doesn't necessarily mean your injector's bad. It doesn't necessarily mean things were done incorrectly. Mm -hmm. It just means the filler went to tissue instead of that it wasn't supposed to meant to be placed in for that procedure. Okay. Filler can go on the upper lip under that nose area to the lip area. Okay. But if you're filling a lip, it gets migrated, looks like a mustache, looks ducky. Um, that is something we can reverse, which I'm assuming and hoping and praying that everybody in, <laughs> is using an HA filler for a lip. 
because we can dissolve that. HA is hyaluronic acid. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I forgot. Okay. I'm like, wait, what does that mean again? Okay. <laughs> yes. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. Your body produces that. That's something our bodies produce. That's why our skin looks so good and subtle and moisturized. And as we age, we look a little more saggy. Um, it's because yeah, we're depleting our, yeah, our natural hyaluronic acid in our face. So we topically can put that back in. Um, but if your lips do not fit the goal or the outcome that you did want your lips to be, they're lumpy, bumpy, um, they're migrated, they're ducky, we can use a medication to dissolve the mm -hmm. HA filler that was placed and make it go back to just your natural normal state. Okay. Interesting. Wow. And just at this point of the show, tell us, remind us how we can reach you again. Yes, for sure. Um, website, finelineaestheticjulie.com. It's the same handle for my Instagram, TikTok, and um, uh, Facebook. Awesome. Awesome. All right. We still got more time in the show. Obviously let's continue. Uh, so lips are the main thing. And yeah, if you go to her uh, Instagram, which I peeked at before, it's like lips <laughs> everywhere. Awesome. Um, so you're like, what is your nickname? Mm. Uh, the hashtag fine line luscious lips. Love it. I love it. I love it. And by the way, gotta ask, do some men get their lips done too? Oh, men get their lips done. Absolutely. They? Absolutely. Uh, yeah. Yep. 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 Look at my Instagram. There's several men on there. Perfect. It's something that we all could benefit from to look better for sure. And uh, in particular now, so you do the consultation, you, you, you start with your clients and let me ask you now, not you don't do just lips. You do the whole face, but clearly you do a lot of lips. Is there something yes. that usually goes hand in hand? Someone comes in for lips. They're looking for something else as well. Yes. Cheek filler. You know, uh, people come in all the time and say, I need this. And they'll point to a certain part of their face. That's good to know. It's good to know what concerns you because then it gives me an idea where to start. So after being able to get the consultation done and looking at their face, not only straight on, but more of a 3D left and right, rotate around the pit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You've <laughs> got to look at all angles. You've got to look at all angles. People's cheekbones are different. Um, their jawline's different. And if I look just at a profile on the front and then I turn them to their right degree angle, I can see their structure of their nose, their lip balance, and the anterior portion of their chin, which is the furthest part of the chin that pops out. Mm -hmm. So there's a really good dynamic that, you know, we need to look at to be able to know portion ratio wise for your face, your chin should be out projected a little further. Okay. Right. I'm laughing. I got to tell you something. I had a yeah. facial consult by a friend a few months ago and I never knew I didn't have a chin. Like I know all <laughs> my flaws and I'm like, I got the wrinkles here. I'm like, I need yeah. Botox. I'm like, I have these jowls. I'm like, okay. And then I turn to the side and she shows me the picture. As you can see, I have a nubby yeah. little chin. So she's like, you should start doing filler. But I started sculpture to try to help these lines first. And then maybe in this area, yep. but like, I okay. never even, who looks at their chin? I never knew Nobody. I had a chin problem, but I do. I mean, no one's perfect, right? So yeah, I'm no. lacking in that chin no. area too. It should be protruding. Well, I just learned about that facial balance. And these are the things you need an expert who knows all these things, not just someone who's going to come and just inject and say, yeah, here's some lips, here's that. You're looking at the whole face. And uh, I, thank you for that. Because I don't know. I think everyone needs to look in the mirror and, and evaluate their chin. I didn't even know that was like a thing <laughs> that chin should look a certain way, but God, sorry. chins are so underrated. There's so because all we see are lips on Instagram, social media, all we hear about are lips, 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 lips. Great. I, I, I also love a good lip and that's why I started out with a lip because it is the primary concern yeah. for people. But if you really want to do a full scope facial balancing, okay. don't forget that chin. Don't forget you know, you were complaining a little bit about the marinette lines that you're having. That's yep. why they're doing sculpture. That's a great way to build some collagen and help that face back out a little bit. Um, but, you know, posterior of the jawline, you know, Angelina Jolie has this. She's got that chiseled jaw. Yeah, how did she, is that profile. natural or she got her, stuff done? I don't know. You know, if you look way back into her pictures when she was a teenager, there was one just popped up on Instagram just the other day. She has that chiseled jawline so she and I, genetically predisposed. Amazing. Jawline. God bless. Amazing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. How she had things done to keep up. I, I would assume so. Mm -hmm. But so you can actually make a jawline. Explain that. Like, how? Yes. 
Yes. So the jawline in the back, that is your, you know, your jaw is your mandibles, what you're chewing with. The very back of your jawline, you can add an HA filler in there. You can add a radius in there, which is the, the calcium based filler. Okay. And then if you also put in your little chin filler that we're talking about, ah. it elongates that jawline. Okay. So that marinette line, that pre jaw little hanging part that we all get in between your chin yep. and the back of your jawline that tends to fall and sag a little bit, that helps extend that jawline to make it look a little more chiseled again and not so heavy. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Oh, and, and just for the record, can I ask you one other question? You brought up a celebrity face and there's, yeah. I haven't seen any pictures of Madonna recently. She popped up on Instagram and I looked oh. at her face and I said, okay. I don't think that, th okay, is that filler? Cause her, she looks like she's got like a pear face. Like something happened up here. Like is yeah. it her bone? Is it filler? I mean, just in your opinion, if you were allowed to comment, I know you don't work on her, but yeah. just, no. did, did no. she, what, what is she doing or what happened? Do any? Oh. Madonna, Madonna. I love her, by the way. She's amazing to me. Can't do wrong. I did see a picture of her recently and um, I, I'm not thrilled with it. Um, there is a standard of aging naturally, but with a little help. Okay. Yes, I'm not yes. against obviously getting things done. I do for me, for me, I like a little bit here and there. I don't like that crazy plastic face look. Um, she looks like she's overfilled. Okay. Her, her cheeks are overfilled to me. Um, she's had, definitely had some procedures for a nip and tuck, you know, she's obviously had plenty of done to get that look mm -hmm. because that's not a normal look. Right. I mean, no. if you've been brought it up, there's, there's a reason we brought her name up because it doesn't look natural to us. My whole point in my office is to keep you natural looking, keep you, you looking, but better. Got it. Yeah, I agree. I think that's the way it should be. But I feel like some people have gone overboard and they shouldn't age gracefully accepted. But you know what? We could still look better as we age. Like I just discovered, right. I'm naive, but I just discovered filters. My friend uses Facetune to make her face look pretty. And so, yeah, I, I did a, a little post on my social media about it yesterday. Like, oh my God, it just oh. took away like my wrinkles. I've looked like five years younger. I'm like, this is so cool. But wait, it's fake. So like, cool. so why can't I start doing things to my face to make it look better? Whether it's the skincare we're using, whether it's right. fillers, whether it's, uh, you know, these types of products that are building acid in our body. Like, I'm so for it. Why not? Yeah, I agree. <laughs> I agree. I agree. I agree with all of that. I think no, natural is a good. I'm not against it, but I, I like tweaks. I like a little tweak. I've had, I've had plastic surgeries done and I'm super happy with it. And I tell all my patients what I've had, who Love I would it. refer to. Mm -hmm. I'm an open book. I, I think it helps us women to women to not have that I stigma. Love that. that mm -hmm. My God. I mean, we've all, had, well, not everybody, but you know, the, us that have had children. Yeah. Uh, hello, stomach wrinkles and sagginess. Like what happened? Right. It's, it's, it's like the balloon popped mm -hmm. and it's just kind of there. Empty skin. I have busy. that. Yeah. Yeah. Ugh, right. I'm thin, yeah, but I can't get rid of that. But hey. Hey. No, no, you can't. And those are war wounds for having children. And of course we would never do different, but no. there's things to help make us feel more confident again. I'm all about that. All about that. I just don't want to cross that line into no return where I kind of feel we talked about Madonna a little bit. She went a little too far. That's mm -hmm. my opinion. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Well, um, clearly, I just think it's important for people to know that the term also preventative aging, it really does mean something. Like if I knew now, like if I knew them, what I knew now, knew now how do I say that? But if I, if I started Botox yeah. in my 20s, I wouldn't have as many lines. Isn't that true? Correct. That is absolutely true. It's preventative. Absolutely true. And that is something that people, they'll just, you know, I'm in my 20s. I don't need it. That's crazy. Well, do you exercise? Do you try to eat well, do you try to stay out of the sun as much as possible? Do you use sunscreen? These are all preventative things that we do in our 20s yeah. to keep ourselves feeling healthy and, you know, have a, a better healthy future. Absolutely. Same thing for our skin. The skin is the number, it's the biggest organ in our body. So why aren't we taking care of it? Yeah. You know, it's simple. It's a very minor procedure to get any neurotoxin. In your 20s, you don't need a whole lot. So that's even better. It's a little cheaper. You don't need a whole lot. Yeah. Um, preventative is, is definitely the, the way to go. The way to go. Awesome. 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 All right. We just mm -hmm. have three minutes left here, um, uh, with you today. Okay. Would you mind sharing, um, what else did you want to share for the last three minutes? Sorry. 
<laughs> no pressure. <laughs> no, no, no pressure. Let's just, you know, if we're going to do that preventative, let's talk about uh, just real quickly and we can get into it deeper later, but medical grade skincare, okay. you know, we talked about SPF, big deal, big, 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 big deal. And I know I was, I was that child that went and got the oils for mom's kitchen and just went out in the sun. Cause that's what we had mm -hmm. <laughs> any type of oil. Let's, let's bake that skin, get a tan. You know, we learn later in life. That's not a good idea. Um, but preventatively wise, medical grade skincare is amazing. And women and men do not use it enough. Okay. They go to Sephora, they go to Ulta, they buy hundreds of dollars of products. That is not the concentration we need to improve anything, but Hey, it smells good. Right. Exactly. So they buy I it. do. I know. Right. It. <laughs> it does. Yep. Yep. <laughs> yep. yep. So it's, it's, it's an industry that we need to start realizing it's a great thing to put some money into ourselves so that later we're, we're really getting the best of the best of ourselves later. Yeah. Beautiful. Well, remind us how we can reach out to you for that consult. Uh, give us your phone number, email, TikTok, give it all Instagram. Yeah. yeah. The best way. And you can text. So my clients love this. Text me 770-883-0114. You can go to our website at finelineaestheticjulie.com and the handles are the same for TikTok, Love Instagram, it. and Facebook. Perfect. Well, thank you for being here, for joining us. And again, looking forward to our next conversation and keep it up. You look great. Whatever you're doing is working. So um, hey, just, yeah, that's a lady. good thing. Look great. <laughs> Have a great day and we'll talk soon. And to all of our listeners. Thanks. Are you looking for even more of the podcasts and hosts that you love? The Podcast Business News Network is proud to announce that you now have even more ways to listen live. Check out the MyTuner Radio, Online Radio Box, and Simple Radio apps on iOS and Android, or find us online. Search for Business News Network on MyTuner-Radio.com, or search Podcast Business News Network on Streama.com and OnlineRadioBox.com slash US. Take your podcasts on the go and don't miss a minute of the action. Broadcasting from the business capital of the world, this is the Podcast Business News Network. For nearly 2,000 severely injured veterans, everyday life has become filled with barriers. Day-to-day -day simple tasks can become pretty daunting. I have to carry my chair up two flights of steps or have somebody do it for me. What scares me the most is just the falling. When I'm struggling with my house, I think, you know, to have that one great barrier just knocked down, I mean, it's... It's crucial. Home for Our Troops is a wonderful nonprofit that builds a mortgage free, fully adaptive, handicap accessible house, and there's no catch. It'll be our very first home that we've ever owned. This is a game changer. This is where your life begins again. We need you to join us in completing this important mission. Please visit hfotusa.org and help build homes and rebuild lives. Because of you, everything's it's going to be okay.